Hey y'all, it's your girl Tiasha back with another video. Before y'all do anything, make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment. You know all that good stuff I ask y'all to do every single video. Today, I'm making um, a seafood, basically crab and probably shrimp stuffed shells. I ain't never made this recipe before, but I had all the ingredients in the refrigerator and in the pantry. So I was like, let me try and put something together. Um, I know I ain't been participating in vlogmas, but it just didn't got away from me. So whenever I can upload is whenever I can upload. But yeah, I got my lump crab meat right here. My shells, my Philadelphia cream cheese. I'm cutting up my green peppers and onions so I could get ready to saute them. I already got my water boiling for my shells. And so I hope it come out good because I ain't never made, I've made stuffed shells before, but it was with other things. I've never made a seafood stuffed shell. So I thought I'd give it a try and I'm hoping it come out good. Cutting up my green pepper and my onion now. Do anybody else be feeling like a for real chef when you be chopping up your green peppers and onions and stuff? Anytime I chop up green peppers and onions, I be over here feeling like the woman. You know, because I be like, I be feeling like a for real chef. Like, I'm over here chopping up stuff and mixing stuff. and <laughs> I don't know why, but anytime I use green peppers and onions, I be like, yeah. This has to come out good. Nobody's worried about what? You better chill out, but yeah. And y'all get out that pantry. Josh, what are you doing? What? Yeah, there ain't no more juices, so y'all don't need to be in there. No, that's Daddy and my fruit roll up. One more fruit roll up. Well, don't get it. So I put in all of, I'm sauteing my onions and bell peppers and olive oil. And I put in a little bit of Creole seasoning. I love using that. And a little bit of Old Bay. It's not actually a recipe because I can't say put in two teaspoons of this and three teaspoons of this. I just go by my taste buds and how my family like it. So... If y'all do try this, season at your own risk. Season at your own risk because I don't go by a playbook. Let me taste this. It still needs to be cooked a little longer. Still needs to be cooked a little longer because I don't like the... Um, I don't want it too crunchy. I feel like I might need to put some more green peppers and onions too. If I need to, I'll just cut them up. I feel like this meal is going to be good. This is my first time trying this out. I made stuffed shells before. I made Cajun chicken stuffed shells and they turned out really good. So it's kind of like the same concept. Just in this case, I don't have no spinach and uh, instead of using spinach I'm using the green peppers and onions and instead of chicken I'm using the crab meat so I think it's still going to be kind of like the same concept same taste I'm hoping I'm hoping it turn out good <laughs> green peppers onions in the um, cream cheese Season the um yeah. ooh, excuse me season the crab meat a little bit um now I'm about to y'all see who I got in my arms because he's being a little spoiled baby but now I'm about to uh go ahead and mix everything together I got my shells in the strainer because I didn't want them to keep on cooking so I didn't want them to get too soft. Cause it's going in the oven and I don't, it's easier to stuff when they not falling apart, but I got everything going and 
once I get this down packed, I might do some more cook with me videos. But yeah, I got a little spoiled baby kid right here. Um, he ain't trying to let his mama be. He ain't trying to let his mama be great. But we gonna figure it out. We gonna figure it out. Um, cheese in the refrigerator. I'll get that out in a second. I feel like I'm missing something. Okay, cream. I need to season the cream cheese, then put the um, crab meat in there, and then I'll start stuffing the shells. I hope I'm not missing nothing. This is about to be a crazy video. And I'm just going to stuff, stuff, stuff. I think it's going to come out good. This is what it looks like. When I um start cooking, my mom is moving up here. My mom is moving up here in April. So when I start cooking, she's allergic to seafood. So I'll have to start preparing her meals separately whenever I do make anything that has like seafood or shrimp in it. I'm thinking about after I stuff these, what I'm thinking about doing is probably sauteing some shrimp to put on top. I love seafood. Shells are stuffed. About to go ahead and shred up some cheese and pour some mozzarella on top too. And then I'm about to saute up some shrimp. Uh, do you help me get up here with Josh? Hold on. I'm about to saute up some, some shrimp. No. I think this is going to be good. Baby Jay, what you think? You think this is going to be a good meal? I, I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh. I, I like well, you gonna tell me if you like it? French fries is a good meal. French fries will be a good meal. Y'all, yeah, I, I have such, I have such a picky eater. Baby J is so picky when it comes to food. He don't want to eat nothing but French fries, broccoli, green, green beans. Stop, Josh. Um, grilled cheese and spaghetti. Like, if he can eat, that's all he would eat in this world if he could. So, I, and broccoli, and I have to constantly, as far as broccoli and green beans, I have to ha practically have those all the time so that he can have. Now, he loves fruits and all that stuff. He'll eat practically any kind of fruit and watermelon and stuff. But when it comes to vegetables and stuff, I can only get him to eat like green beans, lettuce, um, please give me up broccoli. Mommy, give me up. And carrots. So Mom. I'm I'm making a lot of stuff and I'm making a lot of stuff of the repetitively over and over again. Or sometimes I have to put his stuff separate from ours just so that he can eat with us but prepare it separately. Okay, I shredded the cheese. I'm getting ready to put it in the oven on 350 for about 20 to 30 minutes. I will show y'all the outcome when it comes out. Mommy, so far, eat, mommy, can I have a piece of bread? Why you? I'm I'm cooking. Because I'm hungry. I want a piece of bread. So far, it looks good. So far, it looks good. I'm proud of myself. Look at this. <laughs> Mm, look at this good old meal. Look at this good old meal. But yeah, I'll let y'all know how it come out out the oven. Okay, y'all. Y'all ready for the big reveal? Look, it came out so good. I cannot wait for us to do a little taste test, but... I'm about to finish washing up these dishes and stuff real good, real quick. And then we're going to do a taste test. I'm going to let Baby J taste it because he's going to tell me if it's good or nasty for real. But I don't know because he got picky eating. So he might be saying that it's nasty and it really is good. But we're going to see about this. It's going to be good. 
should put them scraps on top. It came out so good, y'all. I'm about to fry up some shrimp. Should put them inside the shit. Lady no, I that. was, I was going to. And buy it. I know. But I'm going to put them on top. But. <laughs> nice job. Okay, y'all. Add a shrimp to the dish. It actually turned out good. We already did kind of like a taste test. And it turned out really good. I'm proud of myself. And I'm proud of myself in the meal that I just accomplished. It's actually good. <laughs>